Hello, today I'm going to make a video about X Rebirth VR Edition and demonstrating the different ways in which it can be controlled. I'm going to show the uh, standard VR controllers for both versions of the game. This is the Vive controller for Steam VR and the Oculus Touch controller for the Oculus version of the game. But I'm also going to show the standard uh, gamepad profile, which is also available in X Rebirth uh, standard version. Uh, starting with 4.30, a lot of the um, advances we have made with X Rebirth VR edition have also been backported to X Rebirth and made available in 4.30 as an update. Um, I'm also going to show the new default profile for the uh, <coughs> for joysticks and HOTAS systems. And uh, last but not least, a uh, mouse VR mode, which is a new feature for Rebirth VR edition, so that even in, v in a 3D mode with your VR headset, you can still use a 3D mouse pointer. Um, so this is a lot of different ways in which you can play X Rebirth, and you can even mix these different modes. So uh, at the very end, I'm trying to show even how you can, for example, use uh, one hand on your joystick and a second hand with a VR uh, controller, which is a pretty cool combination because it allows you to um, steer the ship, for example, with the stick and use the VR um, as a pointer to operate menus and uh, yeah, be in, in general very efficient. Joysticks are not so good for menus, uh, but, but great for steering and the 3D pointer is, is great for the menus. So. You can, you can choose all of those different ways of controlling the game. Okay, now I'm playing with the Oculus Touch controller on the, in the Oculus version of X Rebirth VR Edition. And the first thing I'm going to do is reset my position in, uh, in VR by putting my left thumb on the thumb rest next to the buttons for two seconds. Now it recentered me in the center of my chair. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with steering uh, my right stick, the, the stick on the right controller is for steering, the left stick for strafing. Um, both sticks only have two axes obviously, but you can map um, them to any axis you like. So by default this is on yaw and tilt, but you can also change this to be uh, roll and tilt for example. And this is very similar to gamepad controls. But in addition to this uh, way of steering, you also have gesture steering. You just move your thumb to the thumb rest on the right controller and you immediately activate gesture steering. As you can see, now I have all three axes of freedom. I can do yaw by doing like this. I can do tilt by going like this. And I can roll my ship by doing this. So this is much nicer, especially when you are flowing, uh, flying in a dense environment like here around a station. This gives you a really precise way of controlling your ship and all the freedom you can have steering. And the really cool thing with the Oculus Touch is that you can seamlessly switch back to the stick control by just moving your thumb to the stick. And this is very convenient because um, gesture steering is very nice for flying near a station or sometimes also in a fight but is not so convenient when you fly a long distance in a straight line because you, you don't want to have to hold your controller very stiff for a very long period of time. So then sticks are much, much more convenient for the long distance. So here you, the switching between the two happens without even pressing a button. So that's very nice. Now, um, the next really important part of uh, the Oculus Touch controller is, of course, interacting with um, target elements. And you can do this with pointing. And again, point activating pointing is really intuitive. All you have to do is point with your index finger. The moment you extend an index finger, no matter in which hand, this works on both sides, right and left, um, you, you can point at HUD elements or also at elements in your cockpit. Like now I'm clicking on the monitor here to change my weapon or this way I can activate HUD elements. Activating HUD elements is really similar to clicking with the mouse cursor. The first time you select a target, the second time it opens 
an interact menu. And the interact menu then can also be again selected with your pointer. So for example, if I click on info, I open the info menu here and I can interact with the menu in exactly the same way. I can click on lines, I can extend and close submenus, and I can click on these buttons here. So that's a very intuitive way. It works basically like a touch screen and very easy to learn. Um, the next important thing is, of course, accelerating your ship. This is done with the trigger button on the left controller. The left controller trigger is an analog, uh, analog button. You can see it here in the speed bar that I can also hold, for example, the button halfway pressed, then I'm at half speed. If I push it to the end, then I'm at full speed. And you can also boost if you push down the thumbstick. So this works exactly like on a gamepad. Let's do it in the other direction. Without actually accelerating here, just pushing down the thumbstick gives you boost directly. So this makes you even faster than your normal maximum speed. Um, the second trigger button at the bottom of the controller on the left hand gives you reverse thrust. Again, you can see here that you see this little red indicator for reverse thrust and your ship flies backwards. On the right controller, the two, but the two trigger buttons are for handling your weapon. This is <coughs> the main trigger on this hand is for shooting your primary weapon. Again, I can change my weapon by clicking on this monitor. Now I have the second, second laser. This, this uh, ship currently has two weapons installed. And as you can see, I'm now shooting wherever I'm looking at. This can be configured. You can also uh, configure it to always shoot at the center of the screen. Or you can shoot towards where you are, where you are pointing. But this is only useful if you have the pointer on the left hand, if you are using your index finger for firing, obviously. The second trigger button on the right controller is for launching missiles. As you can see, I currently have uh, Sunstalker missiles activated. I can click on this monitor to change my current missile. I have two V-Crushers, Sunstalker. And if I click again, then I deactivate missiles. This prevents you from accidentally launching a missile. If I'm going to the V-Crusher missile, it's a, non, uh, it's a dump fire missile, which just goes straight ahead. And if I fire it, it just flies without having to select a target. Whereas with the Sunstalker, I have to select a target first. And then well, it hits the target automatically. Okay, so um, this leaves me with the menus. Um, the X button opens the new quick menu, which is also on this controller a nice way to open the most important menus really fast. You see the top half again are shortcuts for other menus and the lower half are keyboard shortcuts like automatically docking, also um, activating, deactivating um, the flight assist mode, autopilot and other things like this. So if you click here, you see the map opens. Also, you can close the map with the B button or alternatively by clicking on this, this button. Like the quick menu, I also have the ability menu on the Y button. And uh, the ability menu is a menu to launch drones. And um, currently my ship has two drones installed. So very similar to the quick menu, you can select up to 10 different things. Here it is eight drones plus two special modes. You point at them, select them with the A button. And this in this case will only launch, the, launch a, a drone. This one. Okay. Um, the, more, the last button is the main menu button, that is the little uh, menu button on the left controller. If you press it, you get the main menu and you can interact with it by just pointing with your index finger. Again, this works with both hands. You can click on any option directly. 
and of course the main menu has everything and is uh, really fast so this is the alternative to using the new quick menu system. With this controller actually the main menu works really well and um, is, yeah, gives you all, all the functionality really quick. You can also click on the new monitors here at your chair. Most importantly the leftmost one opens the main menu. So this is another way to open the main menu and really convenient. So you don't have to use buttons to open menus. The rightmost menu uh, monitor here opens the map. And again, the map can be interacted with your pointer. The other two menu, uh, monitors open the quick menu and the ability menu. Okay, so here we go with the Vive version of Xrebirth VR Edition and the layout for the original Vive controllers, the wand uh, as they call it. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, reset my position in the, in the VR uh, environment once I'm comfortably sitting. I'm doing this by holding down the right top button here, the one above the trackpad, for a couple of seconds. This gives the reset, the moment you jump basically into the center of your chair in the environment. Um, now, um, to start with, steering on this controller basically uh, is very similar to a normal gamepad layout uh, at first. So you have, um, like you would on a gamepad, uh, have two sticks. The right stick uh, controls steering and the left stick controls driving. You do the same here with your two trackpads. This is, at <coughs> this is the first possibility for steering. Just use your thumbs for steering on the right stick and for straving on the left trackpad. <clears throat> this is uh, only one of the uh, uh, two ways of steering, however, because uh, the Vive controller also has gesture steering. To activate gesture steering, you just shortly click on that uh, same button that we used for resetting, the one above the trackpad. I just shortly click it, and now my left hand is gesture steering the ship. So this is like this is really cool. This is the, the really VR steering. I'm, <coughs> I feel like I have a controller stick in my hand now in the cockpit, which allows me to steer all three axes. So while the controller only gives you two axes, usually jaw and pitch, this also has rolling. If I, if I roll the controller, my ship also rolls around its length. So I can pitch like this, I can yaw like this, and I can roll the ship. This is pretty cool. And um, yeah, you can combine this and turn it on and off all the time, because sometimes you, you just want to rest the controller, you want to <coughs> put it somewhere else, or you, you can after a while really uh, conveniently switch between steering with your thumbs and steering with the gesture steering in situations where, <clears throat> for example, when fighting becomes more intense. Sometimes, especially when the environment is more interesting, then gesture steering is, is really cool. Whereas uh, on, a, on a straight line uh, through space or in a highway, then, then actually uh, trackpad steering is, is actually superior because you don't want to hold that thing yeah, straight all the time. So uh, uh, switching between those two different modes of, of, of steering is actually really, uh, really cool. <clears throat> So next, of course, I have to accelerate my ship and I do that with the uh, trigger button on the left controller. This is again similar to the gamepad. Holding it down accelerates my ship. You can see the speed bar going up and it's an analog controller button. So I can go up and down with the speed here. And if I hold it to the end, then I'm boosting. So there's a little click point at the end. The click is for boosting. Um, now I'm flying to, into the station to demonstrate a little bit interacting with, the, with HUD elements, like for example this enemy ship. Now I'm turning my ship towards the enemy ship, just so you can see this better. Um, by just pointing with my right controller, I have this, re this wand feature, this, this pointer device. You can see the line, and the line always ends where there is an interaction point, anything, any surface that you point to. These can be cockpit instruments like these, or it can be hut elements like that rectangle. If I now click on it with the center of my right controller circle, 
this is basically like the mouse click interface. Yeah, then you select in, you select this object. I can still use it for steering at the same time. So just touching it lightly uh, around the center steers my ship. Clicking, so pushing down a little bit further, activates a mouse click. And the second mouse click on this rectangle now opened the interact menu. The interact menu is uh, your quickest way of doing something with an object. In this case, since it's an enemy, there's not, so, uh, there's not an awful lot I can do. I could open an info menu or I just click somewhere else and I close the menu again. Um, what, where it becomes more interesting is, of course, if I would do the same now with a surface element on the station, for example, the dock, then the interact menu allows me to immediately dock. The same point and click interface also works with the, with the monitors here in my ship. For example, you can click on a weapon monitor to change your weapons. Currently, my ship only has one. Or on the missile monitor to change missiles. Once you have some, I don't have. This is just right at the game start. <clears throat> you can also click on the big monitor on the right to open the info menu. So this opens up here. And most importantly, of course, you can use this click interface on the big menu, on the full screen menu, to interact with buttons. So you see, this is basically like a mouse cursor, but in 3D this works much cooler. It really feels like a touch screen and this is what the Vive, Vive Wand can do as well. By the way, these little monitors here are now shortcuts for the most important menus. This one opens the main menu. And I close it again with the uh, B button, which normally all of the most important buttons are also click on the left wand controller. So I have basically, uh, if, I, if I click on that uh, touchpad here to the right side, like this, then this is closing a menu. Um, and clicking in the center of this one is always confirmed. So if I, if I open that menu again, and I want to do, for example, activate a mode like the long range scanner, which I probably don't have yet. I would just click on the center here well, and it tells me that I don't have that scanner yet. But this is how you interact with, with these menus. Accelerate again with the trigger button on the left controller. And of course, we forgot the most important feature in a space game shooting. Shooting goes uh, usually towards my cursor. So in this VR mode, the default would be to, to, to shoot where you are pointing. This goes on, of course, only to, to a certain degree. So you cannot, you cannot shoot to your back or very far to the side, but it is a pretty, pretty big range in which your turret can, can uh, steer and you fire towards this. This, of course, also can be configured. Um, you can also change this to, to shoot always to the center of your ship or to where you are looking at. So now um, I can show you quickly the other uh, buttons on the trackpad on your right, uh, on your left hand, sorry. Um, the uh, top button opens the ability menu, which is the menu that you use to activate drones once you have them. And uh, closing it again with the B button. And the uh, left menu opens a very similar a new menu which we introduce uh, now for all of the things that you use most most often. All of those things that you see in this menu here are also available in the main menu but this one is, is really convenient especially in VR but also uh, pretty cool with, with the normal uh, X Rebirth game. You, we have added this in a, in a patch now also for standard X Rebirth and it allows you to access all of those features really quick and as you see here, property owned menu, trade menu, mission management, most importantly here, the map. All of those things in the top are, map, uh, are uh, full screen menus. Like for example, if I open map man management and I have it here on my monitor, I close it again with the back button and open this menu again. And at the bottom of this menu, of this compass menu, you see, yeah, state changes of your ship, uh, like a flight flight assistance that you can turn on and off, the autopilot that you can turn on and off, uh, docking computer. These are basically shortcuts that usually you would do with a shortcut on your keyboard. And here you have them available uh, with controller or VR controller um, access. So these are, I think, the most important um, controller features. 
Um, for an, a nice overview, I will show you the uh, loading picture, which the game always shows when you start it up with these controllers attached. Okay, this is now the default profile for the HOTAS system. And um, as you can see, it has roll and tilt mapped by default. Maybe a little bit unusual for people who are used to your tilt steering. But um, of course, all of this can be changed. And the yaw axis in this case is also available at the side of the thrust controller here with this little hat. You can steer on the yaw axis. And with the index finger on the, th on the throttle, you have strafing. So all of the main steering possibilities are there. And of course, you have fire here with the index finger on the stick. And you also have many other functionalities here mapped on the button. Something that's really cool and I, that I wanted to show quickly is the um, changing of flight assist. With this little thing here, by default, you can turn on and off flight assistance. And um, you may know that already from X Rebirth, but um, with, with a stick like this, it is especially useful. You, if you turn off flight assistant and then turn around your ship, you can basically, you continue flying. <clears throat> so the, com the computer of your ship that normally compensates all of your mov movements is turned off. And this kind of flight maneuvers allow you to, um, to fly at, for example, parallel to a station or a large ship and, and attack it from the side. So this, this is a really cool feature and especially useful with, with joysticks like this. Okay, here we are with the gamepad mode in X Rebirth VR edition and X Rebirth 4.30. Uh, because the normal X Rebirth also has a couple of new features in regards to the gamepad and I'm going to explain them soon. Uh, but let's first start with normal controls, which um, are of course steering and strafing mapped to the two sticks. You have on the right stick uh, steering, you can have the yaw axis normally on right and left and the pitch axis on up and down. Um, this can be changed, like everything with the mapping, um, but many people may want to have roll uh, access mapped to the controller. You can go to settings, controls and general controls. And you see here that roll is currently not mapped by default on a gamepad, but this can of course be changed. <clears throat> so back to the controls here. We have again rotation on the right stick and strafing on the left stick. Let's first fly a little bit closer to this station and for that I have to accelerate. For this I use my left index finger for speed and you can see on top here that the speed bar goes up. You have this little indicator which shows how far down you hold this button for your, speed, uh, uh, for your intended speed and then the bar shows how fast you actually are. If you want to go even faster you can use boost by holding down the left th uh, stick. This goes even first, uh, faster. Okay. Um, the most important part of uh, controlling the game is of course target selection and interacting with targets. And this is done in gamepad mode um, in VR by looking at objects. As you can see, there is this little dot in uh, the center of your view. And wherever you are looking at, and when you are over a um, target, element, you can see that it is automatically selected. For example, now I'm looking at this info point, now I'm looking at this ship in the distance. And um, I can press now the A button to interact with this object. Holding it down opens the interact menu and then I can use the left stick to select an object. For example, I can open the info menu by holding it like this and then releasing the A button. Here opens the info menu on my side monitor. <clears throat> I can close this again with the shortcuts listed at the bottom of this menu. B for back closes the menu again. This is the B button on the controller. Um, for comparison, the info point on the station, again I press and hold A. I use the left stick to select, for example, info, 
release and I open the info menu for this particular part of the station. In this case, it gives me information about the station. And here with up, down, I can of course select lines, open sub menus to get more information. For example, in this case about what's stored in this station. And with B, I can close it again. Um, okay, this is uh, interacting with uh, surface elements and targets. And this is of course very powerful. You can do lots of things with this. Um, but there's also um, the other menus that work in a very similar way. There is uh, the, well, the most important menu, the main menu, which you open with the uh, button left of center on your controller. And you can then select again with the left stick up, down the main categories, go to the right to go further down. Some have more than just one level. For example, communication menu here has several layers to select people you want to talk to. This menu is, of course, you should know from Xrebirth before. Um, but in gamepad mode, this is not always the fastest way to access things because we have added also what we call the quick menu, which is uh, on the X button on your controller. So you hold down the X button and you open this interact menu, uh, this, this um, compass menu, which um, has 10 uh, directions to choose from and you select the directions by using your left stick again. And as you can see, the upwards directions, the top half of the circle shows different types of menus. So these are all the shortcuts to the most important menus. For example, if I hold it on the number two and release X, then I open the trade menu. And again, I can interact with the menu, of course, just like shown before. I can close it directly with the hot cut, uh, shortcuts down here and with B it closes. Um, the lower half of this menu shows keyboard shortcuts, um, the most important ones, for example, uh, immediate docking, flight assistant on and off. Uh, be, uh, beware of this one. This is a mode, of course, and once you activate it it, it, it is toggled. So if I select this, you will see a message that flight assistance is now disabled, which changes your entire steering behavior of your ship. And you have to go back to this menu and disable it again. Um, but all the others are uh, just uh, one-time shortcuts. Autopilot on and off and so forth. And CETA is of course also something once you have these, uh, this installed. Um, yeah, so quick menu is very useful, very powerful and was added with version uh, 4.30 also to X Rebirth because obviously this kind of uh, menu can also be very useful without virtual reality in normal gamepad mode. Um, the right trigger button is for firing your primary weapon and as you can see I am firing towards my target button, uh, target point. The white dot is where I'm firing at. This behavior again can be configured if you prefer to shoot always towards the center of your screen. You can change this in the options menu. Okay. Uh, this leaves the a little bit less important buttons. We also have the two shoulder buttons on the controller um, above the trigger. We have the left one for flying backwards. Again, you can see the thrust, reverse thrust with the red bar on the monitor up here. And I have the right shoulder button for launching missiles. Um, normally, of course, this goes on targets. Like if I have an uh, object selected, and I fire a missile. Okay, this is not a target target one, so I'm changing my missile type. I only have no, I only have one. Yeah, so this one is not uh, automatically seeking its target. Yeah. This brings me to the last part of the controller, the uh, diggy pad here, which has uh, Two main features, the, two, uh, the up and down direction of this pad are for target locking. Um, the normal behavior is that always where you look at is automatically targeted, but if you want to keep a target, you press DigiPad up. So now this ship is locked. No matter where I look, it remains my target. If I press it again, I unlock it. Now the ship is not selected anymore. Um, with the digipad down direction, 
I would automatically target an enemy if there were one. There is unfortunately no enemy around me now, so I cannot demonstrate this, but it gives me basically the same functionality that you normally have with Shift E. So I can lock and unlock targets. Now it's locked, now it's unlocked. And with the right and left direction um, you can change your weapons. Pressing digipad left changes my missile, digipad right changes my primary weapon. As you see I have two primary weapons and I switch between those and pressing to the left changes between missile type 1, type 2 and no missile. So yeah, that's it basically. Um, there's uh, this, uh, the only button left is the right of center button which opens the options menu. Same functionality like escape. So settings and all of those things. B gets me back. So that's the functionality of the gamepad and um, especially the new quick menu, this thing. Okay, now I'm going to show the mouse mode in VR. This is uh, the latest addition to all the different ways of controlling X Rebirth uh, VR edition. And um, this is, well, one that is uh, very easy to use for everybody who has already played the game with mouse control before, but now in virtual reality. So instead of a 2D mouse pointer, you now have this pointing device, which is very similar to a normal um, VR pointing device, but now you control it with the mouse. So this is uh, independent of your viewing direction. If I look around, you see that the that this uh, line here stays in the same place, but I can move it 360 degrees. I can even point to the back. Um, and this can be used just like a VR pointing device to interact with my cockpit. For example, I can click here to change my weapon and here to open a menu uh, based on, the inf uh, on that info monitor. And it can be used to interact with the HUD elements, for example, to select a target. So in this regard, it is identical to a VR pointer. Um, but in addition, I can also use it to steer if I hold down the left mouse button, just like in 2D, where I can do the same with a 2D mouse pointer. So now I'm flying a little bit closer to the station with the keyboard. And as you can see, I have my left hand on the WASD area of the keyboard for the usual uh, controls. This is strafing up and down, right and left, tap for boosting, and uh, occasionally I use escape up here. But all the other buttons uh, or keys on the keyboard are hard to reach. Well, I, well, I'm using backspace here, but actually this is of course also possible with the mouse wheel. For example, I can change my speed with the mouse wheel as well. Um, but as you can see, you don't see your keyboard in, in VR and it's hard to, to find keys more on the right side of your keyboard. That's why um, we actually uh, made most of them uh, unnecessary. Uh, for example, you can open most menus with these little screens on your chair. So you have these, little, these four little monitors here. The leftmost one can open the main menu. And the main menu, well, is very powerful. It has all of the functionality to control stuff and it's very quick with, with the pointer device to open anything you need. So this is actually the most important one. Um, a little, yeah, less common but also quite useful is then the, um, the quick menu. Which, uh, we, which I already explained in the controller and VR controller uh, part of this video. But especially with, uh, with the mouse, the lower half of this circle can be useful because uh, of some sh uh, keyboard shortcuts, which otherwise are hard to, um, hard to type on the keyboard, especially docking, uh, autopilot, Zeta. These are buttons on the keyboard that, well, that you can use with this menu. Um, the top half, the menu shortcuts, opening the uh, maps is of course also available, but as I said, um, this is actually also uh, available in the main menu and um, in, with mouse control it's uh, equally fast. We also have the um, right monitor here for the uh, ability menu. This is used to interact with drones, currently I don't have any. This is just a game start right at the start of the game. 
uh, and the rightmost monitor here opens the map on my right side. And um, interacting with any full screen menu in this side console works just like with a VR controller. You can now also zoom with the mouse wheel, but you can touch it, move around objects, you can open menus like this, uh, click on lines, zoom in on objects, and uh, click on those buttons here, of course. Um, very similar to also opening, maybe I do this with the quick menu for a change, uh, to opening the trade menu. There's another important menu and here you have those all those tabs that you can click on for sorting. Currently, I, as I said, I'm at the start of the game, so I don't have any trade offers here, but um, these kind of menus can be really uh, operated very quick with, with this uh, mouse mode. So I'm uh, flying a little bit closer to the station here to demonstrate uh, how to interact with HUD elements. For example, this, uh, sur uh, this surface element, this info point on the station, I can click on it, and if I click again, little double click, then I get the interact menu. And as you can see, um, yeah, I can point to the, in to the different menu sections here. Info menu, for example, opens the info menu for this. And the same works with target objects. Let's see if I find a ship near me. Oh, there's a, there's a mission offer. That's another nice example. Let's fly to this one. So now I can open the mission offer. Don't play it for now. Uh, do we have a ship nearby over there in the highway? I can still click it and again, same, same principle. So this works very easily and especially useful for people who are used to play the game with the mouse. Um, yeah, you have uh, strafing controls on your left hand, steering with your mouse pointer. And in addition, of course, you can also use the space bar to switch to the normal uh, mouse steering mode, which also works with the VR pointer. In that mode, you don't have to hold the left mouse button down and steer with the mouse permanently. So this is something you can turn on and off when you fly longer distances. Yeah, so I think this mode is, is very useful, especially if you don't have a VR controller. You may also want to have a look at many other tutorial videos about the non-VR version of X-Rebirth on the Egosoft YouTube channel. They explain the more complex sides of the game, like trading, building your own stations, setting up larger fleets, hacking and stealing from stations, takeover and boarding of capital ships, and much, much more.